this tutorial we will learn about get pivot data function so what is get pivot data function so it is lookup and reference function and it is based on pivot table so what does it do it extracts data from pivot table with the help of vlookup or index function or hlookup function we extracted values from a table here we will extract the value from a pivot table so the syntax of this function is equal to get pivot data within bracket we have the first argument data field that is this one is data field this data we want then pivot table then field and item so we can have multiple field or multiple items so what is data field it is the name of the field to be extracted data from so sales is the data then pivot table is a reference to a sales or range of sales the pivot table that contains the data you want to retrieve that is pivot table is the reference for a pivot table so we will understand after creating the pivot table so let's get to the field it is a field to refer that means this field and item this both are based on the row and column as we have done in index function it is little bit similar to index function so let's first create a pivot table so select this then go to insert and get pivot table select the range select the range from here to all these data then we will create this on this existing sheet that is h12 we have already selected this h12 and okay so we got the pivot table now what we have to do is we have to drag this name in the filter row column and values so first we want the values in cells okay now for rows we want to take the month name and for columns we want to get the product name so we got this summarize of this that is here in the data we have several months you can see and all these are summed up here for january we have total sales of cpu dvd floppy hdd keyboard in this way so now we want to get the data of dvd and hdd for the month of january and february that is total sales so to do that we can get here the names of the month that is january and february and here the product name dvd and hdd and here we will use the functions so type here equal to get pivot data first one is date field here our date field is this one sales because we want the total sales uh, and these values are for the sales because as you can see sum of sales so here we want the value sales so this should be within quotation sales comma pivot table so select the topmost corner this one so this is the pivot table then comma field so field is first is for the month so type your month within quotation month and this spelling should be correct otherwise you will get incorrect result or error result comma month is january so here we will get the month comma second field name is product so product comma select this range then bracket close but this is for the single cell when we drag this so this will be some mistake so we have to change the range here just fix this with f4 and here for the month we will drag it down not on the right side so we will log the column here with f4 okay dollar i 29 and for this one here the row should be locked column should not be locked so press f4 row is locked now press enter 
So we got 219,558. If you go here for DVD January, 219,558. Now drag it for HDD, you can see 11,19,096. Now drag this. If you want the more month, then just drag down like this way and the formula in this way. You can see we got all the values. For HDD, March, April, May, we have 0. You can see for HDD, March, April, May, it is 0. You can see this is 0. If you want to add more items, suppose you want to add a monitor, type here monitor, spelling should be correct as it is monitor and drag the formula on the right side. We got the value. In this way, we can get any value from the pivot table with the help of get pivot data function. So in this way, you can use this get pivot data function within Excel. So I hope you have understood this tutorial very well. But still, if you have any problem regarding this tutorial, you can write me in the comment section. I hope you like this video. So please hit the like button and share this with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe our channel to support us. Thanks for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next tutorial.